It's good to be with you at Christchurch Friesland for a team Eucharist service. The Gospel uh, for today, the 11th Sunday after Trinity, has Jesus asking his followers who they think he is. It reminds me of that rather gripping television programme, Who Do You Think You Are?, which traces family histories and genealogies of well-known people, often going back several generations, and almost without fail, facts are brought out which are moving to the point of tears. Perhaps someone's close relative has been in a workhouse, or someone finds out that their mother had to give them up as a young child. Here, though, Jesus is not being asked who he is, but he is doing the asking of the disciples. And as I often find myself saying, that's us. We can imagine Jesus asking us, who do you think that I am? What is interesting to me about Peter's response is that it is so straightforward. You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Not, I think you are, or some people say you are, but you are. We are so used to spin that it is often difficult to see exactly where the truth lies. Like Pilate, ever the politician, we might say, what is truth? But Peter does not need to beat about the bush. You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God, he says. And what a response he gets. Jesus recognises Peter as seeing straight through to the truth and makes him the rock on which his church community will be built. And it's worth noting this also, I think. Jesus says he will build this church on that rock. Not as a one-off, but as a process of which we are still part. Peter was not faultless, even denying Jesus three times in the courtyard. But Jesus continues to build his church with all the humanity that we have to offer. Amen. And so we gather in the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, with friend and stranger, young and old. Be among us today. Come close to us, that we may come close to you. Forgive us, that we may forgive one another. Renew us, so that where we have failed, we may begin again. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. A moment of quiet as we bring before God and before each other, ourselves, wherever we are, whoever we are, in all that we are. Remembering times when we have fallen short of God's love for us. O 
O oh, hidden mystery, in everything we touch, in everyone we meet, you are there, and we give you thanks. But where we have trampled you in creation, where we have missed you in one another, where we have rejected your goodness, forgive us, we pray. May the God of love forgive us our sins, heal and strengthen us by the Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. A short time of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we ask for your healing hand to be present on all who suffer, the lonely and isolated, those who are anxious or depressed, the sick, and all who have asked us to pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks that your spirit of love is in so many in our community who are going the extra mile to help others. And we pray for our council and all who must take difficult local decisions for the health and well-being of our community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those we love but see no longer, for those who have died recently and for the bereaved. Help us to trust in your promise of new life, and may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With Peter, may we see the truth, Lord, and play our part in continuing to build your church. Lord God our Father, we ask you to receive the prayers and praises we offer to you now, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the light of Christ draw us in and send us out in love and light and peace. 
the peace of the Lord be always with you. At the Last Supper, Jesus, sharing bread and wine, invited the disciples to share his journey. Like many grains of wheat becoming one loaf of bread, his disciples were invited to become one body with him. Here today, through bread and wine, we renew our journey with Jesus and his disciples. Here, through bread and wine, we renew our unity with each other and with all those who have gone before us in this place. Through bread and wine, we renew our communion with the earth and our interwovenness with all the broken ones of the world. So come, taste of this bread and wine, gifts of the earth, work of human hands, food both of the earth and of heaven. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O God, for you have brought forth bread from the earth. Blessed are you, for you have created the fruit of the vine. In the beginning you watered the earth and brought us food and drink. And here at your table you offer us bread and wine for our journey, to nourish us as your sons and daughters with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. And so with all our sisters and brothers before us and beside us, we join in the song of your unending greatness. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord Jesus, present with us now, as we share in this place what you shared with your disciples, breathe your Spirit upon us and upon this bread and wine, that they may be heaven's food and drink for us, renewing, sustaining and making us whole. On the night that he was betrayed, at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, he took wine and having given thanks for it, he poured it out and gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this and share it, for this is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me.
So now, following Jesus' example, we take this bread and this wine, the ordinary things of the world through which God will bless us. And as Jesus offered thanks for the gifts of the earth, let us also celebrate God's goodness. I invite you to say with me the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. If you have bread and wine or juice to share with each other or by yourselves, I invite you to do so. The body of Christ. Amen. And the blood of post-communion prayer, let us pray. Lord of all mercy, we, your faithful people, have celebrated that one true sacrifice which takes away our sins and brings pardon and peace. By our communion, keep us firm on the foundation of the gospel and preserve us from all sin. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, may the light of Christ be your guide, the love of Christ be at your side, the generosity of Christ make you whole, and the peace of Christ be deep within your soul. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each of us and those we pray for this day and always. Amen. And now, let us go in love and peace to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.